These are the assembly instructions for my box, which is made out of shadow boxes. But this is the large version. There are four pieces which form the walls of my shadow box. Two of them have tabs on the ends, like so, and two of them do not. And then I have two pieces that look like enormous eyes. And these are the pieces that are gonna go in the center to form the cross in the center of my shadow box. Just folded down and burnished all the score lines on all of my pieces. So I'm gonna start with one of my pieces that has no tabs. One edge is just a straight rectangle. The other edge has triangles cut out of each end. I'm just putting glue all over the end that has the triangles cut out of it. And then I'm placing my piece so that it's right on the edge. So my base square has four squares that are scored. So as I'm gluing this piece down, I want the corners to be even. So this score line goes along the cut edge of that base piece. So I'm gonna rotate my piece and now I'm going to grab one of the pieces that has the tabs on it. And I'm going to put glue on the underside of that same angled piece and it's going to go down on the right hand side. So I'm gonna flip my piece over. I'm just making sure my piece is properly positioned right against the score line. So I'm gonna rotate it again. And I'm grabbing one of my sides that doesn't have the tabs. I'm putting glue all along that angled flap. And then I'm placing the next one. And I'm rotating it again. So my last piece, I'm putting glue all over the angled flap. I'm going to glue it down. I have my pieces with the tabs at the top and at the bottom. And then I have my little squares that are going to be the backdrops for my butterflies. And the score lines tell me exactly where to glue them down. My shadow box is made out of 80 pound cardstock and these little squares are cut out of true brushed paper. This is from Cricut. I'm just putting glue on the back of each one of those squares and I'm just gluing them down to my shadow box face. They should fit right within the score lines. So next I'm gonna work on one of the panels that has the tabs. So I'm gonna put glue on that very last rectangle. I've got three rectangles and then on the very last one, I'm just gonna put glue all over it. And then I'm going to fold at that score line. I folded it down so that my panel that I just glued down is right up against my decorative squares. I'm going to rotate my box around and do the side that's directly across. I'm doing the exact same thing, putting glue all over that last panel, folding that rectangle over, gluing it down to my base. So next I'm going to do that with the two other sides, just putting glue on the last panel. On the fourth one. So with the pieces with the tabs, I'm going to pop them up. I'm folding those tabs inwards. And then I'm bringing the two other sides up, like so. So that forms the frame of my shadow box. Next I have the pieces that are formed like a giant letter I. I pulled it down on all the score lines for it. I'm gonna put glue on those angled flaps. So I've got two of them. I'm laying my piece flat on the next score line, folding that panel across from it over like so. I'm doing that on the second one as well, I'm laying it flat and then bringing over that other side and gluing it. So when I pop them up again, my seam is in the center and I have a shape that looks like this. I'm gonna do that exact same thing for the second one. These fit into one another like a plus sign. So now I'm just dry fitting it, making sure that everything fits. So now I'm taking some double-sided tape and I'm Positioning my corner so that it's a nice 90 degree corner. I have a nice looking miter. I'm just placing this on top of that seam. It's in from both edges, so it's almost centered 
on this area because then when you have your frame it'll be completely hidden by the frame so you want to do that for all four corners making sure that you are pulling your corners into position the way they need to be so next i'm going to take one of the pieces that creates the cross and i'm putting glue all over the bottom flipping the piece over, gluing it in so that it's centered between my four decorative pieces. I'm just going in there with my bone folder and I'm just spreading that glue to make sure that it takes. So I'm gonna put glue on the second piece the exact same way. And for it, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue in that center as well. Flipping my piece over. So I'm positioning it. Next, I have my four frame pieces. I've already done three of them. So I've chosen glitter as the material for the frame itself. I'm going to flip my glitter piece over and I'm putting double-sided tape around the opening. So I'm just adding double-sided tape all around the four sides of that opening. So next I have my piece of acetate. This acetate has liner on both sides to protect it. So I'm just gonna remove that liner and I'm removing the backing on my double-sided tape as well. And then I'm centering my acetate over the opening in my frame. And then I'm putting more double-sided tape. I'm gonna put it over the edge. So I only have this narrow tape because this is so thin, I'm gonna add a little bit on the interior as well. So that's my four frames done. So next I have my butterflies. So my first layer is foiled cardstock and my second layer is just plain white 65 pound cardstock. I have one butterfly for each opening. So there's a score line in the center of my white layer and I'm just folding down on it to give my butterflies dimension. I'm putting glue on the underside of my white layer and then just gluing it to my foiled layer like so in the center. And then I'm putting glue in the center of my butterfly on that foiled layer and then trying my best to center my butterfly in the opening. And I'm going to do that with all four of my butterflies. So now that my butterflies are all in place, I'm going to glue down my frames. I'm just removing the backing from my double-sided tape. I'm working on the upper left corner, so I'm taking the liner off the red line tape on that corner. I'm just pulling everything in so that it's nice and square. So I need my acetate to be right over the opening like so. I'm doing the next corner precisely the same way. And so the two other frames, exactly the same procedure. So that's the first frame done. So you have to do three frames exactly the same as this. The only thing you have to do differently is for the last one, leave the upper frames off because that will be part of the procedure to do the lids because we need those frames off to be able to attach the lid. So I finished all four of my shadow boxes with the exception of the yellow one. I haven't adhered these frames yet. So in the file, there is one piece with a little tab on one edge. The tab is gonna be the hinge for the lid of my box. So this lid is going to be attached to the top of this shadow box. So this shadow box is gonna be the one that's at the back of my box. So I'm just adhering those two bottom frames. And then I'm going to go down the, that flap for the top of my box. I'm just putting glue on the back of that tab. I'm placing my piece so that it's flush with the edge of my shadow box on the left hand side. And the edge of the tab is flush with the right hand side of my shadow box. And it just folds over like so. And then I'm going to take my two remaining frames and just glue them in place. So next I have my bottom piece. Now it has flaps on four sides. I'm just folding down on the four score lines to make the flaps. So this is what's gonna hold my sides together. This is the base of the box. I'm gonna flip my piece over. So I'm just putting glue all along one of the flaps. I'm using Beacon 3-in-1 because it gives me a little bit of extra wiggle room before it dries. Your art glitter glue or barely art glue would also work here. If you're very confident, you can use double-sided tape. I'm going to put my piece so that the edge of the flap is right on the edge of my shadow box, like so. 
And when I fold it down, this is right along the edge of my shadow box. So I've got my lid, the hinge is already made at the top, and this is the bottom. And I've just glued my piece right along the bottom like so. If I flip it over, I have my side here and my flap here in an L position, and that's where my next shadow box is going to go. So I'm putting glue right along the edge of my yellow shadow box. And then I'm putting glue along, along the next flap. So and then I'm positioning my shadow box so that it's right along the edge of my yellow shadow box. So my white shadow box is positioned right along the edge of my yellow shadow box. And I want to make sure that that flap on the bottom piece is right along the bottom of my shadow box. And then I'm just spreading that glue. So now I'm gluing my next shadow box into position. I'm putting the glue all along the edge, that side of my white shadow box, along the bottom of that flap as well. So all that glue is going in like an L shape. And I'm just positioning my pink shadow box against the edge of the white one, like so. And I'm tucking the bottom in. I want it to be following exactly the lines of that pink shadow box. And so this is the last side of my box and I'm going to glue it in. I'm putting glue all along that L shape, just like I did for the other side. And on my last panel, I'm going to put glue against the right hand side as well. So that edge, that's going to get glued in against my yellow shadow box. So I'm just making sure that I have nice 90 degree angles and that everything nice and f that the edges are nice and flush at the top along the edges and along this bottom and the side so now i'm turning my box upside down i have a piece of craft board that i'm gluing to the bottom of my box so i'm just covering the underside of it with glue i'm applying a little bit of pressure want this to bring it all together. Now I'm just going in to the inside of my box and just spreading that glue with my bone folder. What I've done for the lid is I've created another shadow box for the lid. Because of the way my box is assembled, the shadow box is larger than the four other shadow boxes. So in the file, you'll see there's a grouping that is specific for the lid because it's larger than the rest of the shadow boxes. I'm just putting glue all over that panel on the lid. And I'm just going to adhere my lid. I'm trying to center it as best I can on that panel. And then I'm going to open it up and then just go over the lid like so, making sure that I'm spreading all that glue. This is my box made out of shadow boxes with butterflies.